2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And a glimpse inside the locker room. Players' final few moments to prepare for the game. And the task ahead. A stunning view of Capitol Hill from high above. We're here in the seat of the U.S. government, Washington, D.C. This is it. Opening day. The regular season is set to begin, and we're thrilled to bring you all the live action right here on 2K Sports. Hi, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan, and joining us tonight, Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke. And reporting from the sidelines, our very own David Aldridge. D.A., take it away. Kevin, thanks very much. The Wizards have struggled the last couple of years, so some people were surprised that Bradley Beal signed an extension there. Beal said, today a lot of stars want to team up. No knock, but I'm a firm believer in sticking with what you got. If I win a championship in D.C., that'll hold way more weight than if I just left and tried to get one. Kevin? Oh, I love that story. David, thank you. And this is what the schedule looks like for the Los Angeles Clippers. On Thursday, they'll be matching up with Al Horford and the Boston Celtics. Then on Tuesday, they'll be taking on Jonas Valanciunas and the New Orleans Pelicans. Here are the five for the Clippers. Batum is out there with Paul George. Then it's Ibaka. Then it's Luke Kennard. And it's Jackson in at the point. And for Washington, we've got Caldwell Pope. Kyle Kuzma is out there with Hachimura. Then there's Bradley Beal, and it's Holiday in at the point. And every year, more terrific players, Doris, coming into the NBA. How good a position do you think the league is in as far as talent? Well, a great position, Kevin. The players arguably more skilled, more athletic than ever. Obviously, the global reach of the game means that the competition for an NBA roster spot is fiercer than ever I mean just sensational level of basketball this has been so much fun to the inside that's good from Caldwell Pope on the assist from Beal Well, Bradley Beal increasingly becoming a dangerous playmaker. What a pretty pass. Holiday against Jackson. Here's George. He feeds it to Ibaka. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. And I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Traps in the tray. Well, Bradley Beal's mechanics are so pretty. What a shot. And about a minute gone here in the first quarter. George against Hachimura on the shot clock 
Shots good by Kennard. And guys getting into a nice groove here, starting to feel it. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Now, here's Caldwell Pope. Holiday surveying the floor. Beal's shot is good. Well, this is what you love about Bradley Beal. He doesn't have to dominate the basketball. Just get him a shot in the flow of the offense. And Ibaka kicks to Jackson. Outside, George. And another three for the Clippers. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now here's Beal. Five points in the game. For three, it's hauled in by George. Outside for Jackson. And a miss there on the triple. And really, despite that miss, they've had a solid start offensively. Hachimura, the pass to Beal. The kick out to Holiday. Serge Ibaka pulls it in. And so it's Jackson who brings it up for the Clippers. And what a unique career Serge Ibaka has had. Some incredible totals for him over the course of his career. That's right, Greg. I mean, I think people would be shocked to know Serge Ibaka was the first player ever to make 500 threes and have 1,500 blocks. Hard to imagine nobody had ever accomplished that feat. Give credit to Ibaka. He changed his offense and added the three ball. And the first one drops. And Paul George Doris, a kind of a late bloomer coming up in high school. His older sister used to give him the business on the blacktop. Uh, of course, eventually, he found his stride, and the rest is history. It took some encouraging from older sis and his high school coach, who actually had to threaten him with running suicides to get the guy to shoot more. And think about it. This guy plays his college basketball at mid-major Fresno State. That's really where he got onto the NBA radar. Now here's Beal. He's got five. Caldwell Pope outside. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Serge Ibaka picks one up there. Yeah, much improved foul shooter. KCP also starting to get to the line at a higher rate. It's his first trip to the line. And going back to his numbers from just a season ago, he was knocking it down at a 77% clip. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for And Caldwell Pope drops them both. You want to contest this guy's shot, but you absolutely don't want to send him to the line. He will make you pay. Jackson dishes to George. Misses from short range. And you can see the defender's afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Well, there are times where the court vision gets questioned, but Rui Hachimura, the delivery, sets up his teammate really well done. Here's George following the basket by Contavious Caldwell Pope. Misses from close range. Shot from the wing. The rebound by Ibaka. And it didn't fall, but that's the kind of shot they want their offense to create. You know, it can be frustrating when you make the right play and fail to reap the rewards. You just have to stay with it here. Now here's Jackson. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Fires for three. Trains the three-pointer. And Jackson has become a reliable three-point shooter. That's a shot you got to respect. 
Beal taking his time here. Here's Kuzma. Good, it's Beal picking up the assist. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. Pass to Ibaka. Back to Jackson. High post try. The rebound by Caldwell Pope. That's a shot he makes with regularity, but that time the defense up to the challenge. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's on Reggie Jackson. Well, you know Rui wants to score it. He will not retreat in the face of some tough defense. Nicely done. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Hachimura. And, and Doris, don't forget the, a consensus All-American in his final year of college. Hachimura scoring almost 20 points a game. Yes, Greg. He helped the Gonzaga Bulldogs to 37 wins in each of his last two years. And obviously played in some big-time games. Was asked to step up in key moments, and he delivered. Both good from the line that time. And Hachimura's given name, Rui, means fortress in Japanese. And that's what he looks like out there. He's worked hard in the weight room, sports a solid frame with a terrific core and, and that great lower body strength. Again, the miss by Jackson. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Here's Holiday. Hachimura finds Holiday. Caldwell Pope with it, defended by George. Here's Hachimura. No good on that one. And it's the Clippers taking it the other way. And you combine Hachimura's power with that 7-2 wingspan, Greg. He's physically built to succeed in a positionless NBA. And add to that, Kevin, he's got solid athleticism along with a versatile skill set. Hachimura still needs to work on creating off the dribble, shooting the jump shot with consistency, but with his work ethic, there's a good chance he turns those into strengths. And Washington making a change here. Lens checked in. throw good from Kanar. Boy, Greg, there is a lot to like offensively for Luke Kanar. I, I tell you, he can shoot it. He, he's a crafty finisher and, and really improving as a passer. The question mark is the defensive end. 6'5 in height and wingspan. Not elite two, so he's got to get by on his instincts and his anticipation. There's Jackson with the three. And again, no good by the Clippers. Boy, a tough go for him in this quarter. You can see how desperately he wants to get things started. He just can't make a shot. Taking back the lead once more. Give these teams credit. Man, they are battling. Neither team willing to give an inch and neither able to seize the momentum. This has been a fascinating one to watch. Right now trying to get into a rhythm, but so far this quarter, boy, he is struggling to make anything go down. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. Now, here is George. He's got five. And the Clippers miss again. Well, you're trying to answer the three, but you force up a shot that he would have been better off passing up. Clippers trail by four. Passes it to Jackson. Unloads from 13. Lands soft on the front of the rim and drops. Jackson's got five now. Gets one to fall, but only a second make in the first seven attempts. Jackson against Holiday. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Greg, we have a league of many great playmakers, don't we? Oh, there's no doubt about it. Le LeBron James is obvious. You know, he played point guard technically for the first time last season, but he's always been a floor general. You look at a young man like John Morant, 
and he's been on the attack since day one when he Take hit the league. And there's Two so shots. many more of those guys that are having an impact, understanding the value of that lead guard position. It is fun to watch. It is so fun to watch. I agree. And that one falls for Hachimura. Well, this guy born and raised in Japan, and it's so nice to see Rui Hachimura join the growing list of international players. The NBA is truly a global game. And it's a completely new group for Los Angeles. So he gets them both. Here's Rondo. In the corner, it's Morris. Off target with his three. Washington leading now by four. To the wing right side. Kispert, the pass to Holiday. Pass to Kispert. To the middle. Berjans kicks to Holiday. And already they staked out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. Rondo passes to Johnson. Clippers moving the ball around. Morris right side. Inside, Zubats. Morris finds Zubats. And oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. And even three on three break. On the wing, Holiday. Zubats defending. Down low, and the pass to Kispert. Here's Hachimura. Hits it from three-point range. Hachimura's got seven. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Here's Rondo. Morris trying to free himself up. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And although not the biggest guy, you got to love how Rondo uses his body inside. Has a great touch as well around the rim. Trying to get open his win. Holiday gets the bucket. I'm not sure who was supposed to be on him that possession. I mean, apparently neither did the defenders. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Now here's Rondo. Pass to Morris. Knocked away. Taken away by Holiday. And here we go. The Wizards fast break. And a wide open look for Hachimura. And the Wizards getting another bucket right there. What a smooth catch and shoot opportunity from Rui Hachimura. Pretty. Morris against Berton. Bertans grabs the board. Well, we love his ability to attack the rim. He just loses a little bit of focus and misses the chippy. It's tipped. Here's Hachimura. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. And it's Rondo with the ball for the Clippers. Nine-point game. Passes it to Mann. Shot clock at six. And the Clippers miss again. I think this is a spot he has got to become more consistent from. If you want to command the defender's respect. Bertans can't get it to go. Well, if the defense gives him that shot next time, they could get burned. I think he's just a little bit out of rhythm. Pass to man from past the arc. And it's good coming on the I'm assist I'm by I'm Rajan Rondo. And when you're open, Rondo finds you. Always has his head on a swivel. So timeout called here, the first for Washington.
Montrez Harrell, he's checked in for Washington. Avdia comes in for Rui Hachimura. DeMarcus Cousins is checked in for the Clippers. Washington leading now by six. Outside Holiday to the paint. Kispert, the pass to Harrell. Johnson with it. Now guarded by Harrell. Here's Mann. Lays it up off the glass. Mann's got his second basket of the night. Quick job of getting up the floor and creating early offense. You don't give the defense any chance to set up. Sometimes you just love an easy look. Bertans can't get it to go. Clippers trail by four. Outside Rondo. The shot's good on the assist by Johnson. Yeah, and Rondo, he's fantastic at staying strong through the contact. And Holiday kicks to Avdia. There's the pass to Bertans. No good again that time. Los Angeles has gotten a lot of shots off from three-point land in the first quarter, but they're only four of nine. Washington's gone three of seven from three-point range in the first quarter. Rondo against Holiday. Pass to Harrell. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Well, he might be a bit undersized, Montrez Harrell, but he plays bigger than the frame suggests. Hold on. For Washington, they have been excellent at the free throw line here today. A flawless six for six. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from Harrell. So many NBA players like to express themselves through style as they come into the arena. For Montrez Harrell, it's more about the shoes. This guy has gone so far as to design his own kicks. Both shots good from the strike. Right back after this break. Well, Greg, we know he's already a solid score, but Kyle Kuzma spoke to us before the game about evolving his game. The biggest area of growth would definitely be on the defensive end and my playmaking ability. Um, this year, I'm just trying to uh, be a consistent defender, um, find my teammates, because um, I have so much attention offensively. So um, I think those are two areas. Now having played with superstars, Kuzma is learning what it takes to win. He's getting only so many shots per game. So I, I applaud him for finding other ways to contribute to his team with an eye toward the greater goal. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And what stands out to you from Washington in this one? Yeah, in that first period, they look to push in transition at every opportunity. And why wouldn't they? You see their effectiveness in the open floor. Very difficult to slow down. Here are the five the Clippers have to start the second. They've got Ivica Zubats. Ajan Rondo is out there with Johnson. Then there's DeMarcus Cousins. And it's man in at the small forward. And the first one at the line is good. Flattening the lottery odds, Greg. Do you think that's worked out as intended? You don't hear as many predictions about who's going to get the one pick or the second pick. I think that's good for the players and the fans. You don't want anyone rooting for you to lose. No.
Absolutely not. So Johnson hits two of them. Washington's gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory. Outside Holiday, and the wide-open shot from Abdia. The three-pointer no good. The Clippers trail. Down low, here's Johnson. Good. And it's Rondo who picks up the assist. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Harold dishes to Abdia. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And so it's Rondo bringing it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Johnson outside. Here's Zubats. And it's blocked. Oh, and a fast break for the Wizards. Kispert with the bucket. Now here's Rondo. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. Pass to Zubats. Back to Rondo. Five on the clock. But they recover it. Fires the three. Man can't hit. The Wizards with the lead. Inside. And there's Harold. That's out, good on out. the assist by Abdiya. Montrez Harold relishes the opportunity to mix it up on the interior. Nice finish. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Just feels like the basket is looking awfully small to them right now. They're having a hard time getting anything to fall. Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for the Wizards. Bradley Beal comes in for Aaron Holiday. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. Clippers trail by four. Stolen by Avdia. And now Avdia pushing it up, and no one back to stop him. Well, they weren't going to pass up that chance to get out and run following the steal. Jackson against Beal. Jackson gets the bucket. Jackson's got his third bucket of the night. And with the defender draped all over him, Jackson has that strength to fight through the contact. And it's Cousins with the foul. That's foul number two for him. And we just got a second look there at the exceptional mobile one block. Every basket's a big one in a tight game, and he is not about to give up an easy look. Pope on the way. Kennard covering. Caldwell Pope kicks to Abdia. And thanks to that cold second quarter, they're down to just over 30% from three-point range. It hasn't cost them the lead yet. Jackson passes to Cousins. Back to Jackson. Launches it. Kept alive. Another shot. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to be on Montrez Harrell. One of the things that makes Boogie Cousins such a tough cover, he's smart, he understands how to use his size. You talk about big-time skill, my goodness. This is his first chance at the line tonight. And he knocks down the first one. And looking back at what was a stellar career, Greg, if there was one thing you could have done differently, 
Do you have anything on your mind? You know, I, I would have loved to have had the opportunity to finish my career in New York. Uh, that, that was a special place, a special time. Unfortunately, that didn't transpire, but that's the one thing that, that stands out. That and obviously not winning a championship. I can understand both of them. Yes. Now here's Beal. He's got five. Shot clock at five. And the rejection by Cousins. DeMarcus Cousins proving you don't have to be a high flyer to block shots. That's about positioning and timing. Jackson passes to Cousins. Shoots over Kuzma. It's good, and the Washington lead is cut to just one on the basket from DeMarcus Cousins. Wizards have gone 3-7 shooting the ball here in the second quarter. Pass to Gafford. Cousins against Harrell. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Now, here's Kennard. He's started closer. And that's the efficiency you want to see from Jackson, using his poise and vision to make a play. Here's Beal shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Serge Ibaka picks one up there. And, you know, we often talk about Beal's skill set and his finesse. He can play a very physical game as well, Greg. He doesn't have a choice. I mean, he had four brothers who all played football in college, so he kind of grew up around the physicality. And you can also tell Bill's taking his strength and conditioning seriously, especially after having Shoot the lower two. body injury issues earlier in his career. First free throw is good. And how about this, Doris? For all of his offensive accomplishments, Beal has said he wants to make the all-defensive first team at some point. Well, he has the instincts, the athleticism, and the tenacity to do exactly that, Greg. The problem is he has had to expend so much energy at the offensive end. But what you love is he's willing to take on difficult challenges. That should help him qualify. I think Bradley Beal, guys, has everything you want in a two guard. He's six foot five, so he's got tremendous size. He's an outstanding athlete. He's one of the purest shooters in the game. He's unafraid in the clutch. I mean, what's not to like? And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Harrell finds Beal. Reggie Jackson with the rebound. Now the Clippers with it. They've gone on a 10-2 run, not allowing much. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And, and I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. And these are his second and third free throws tonight. one falls. Lens checked in for Montrez Harrell. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Wizards trail by four. Caldwell Pope kicks to Len. Dishes it to Beal. And another miss by Washington. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Here's Kennard. Got a piece of it. Oh, that's merciless. Kuzma plays with such competitive energy, wasn't letting that shot get off. Well, if you offer no resistance defensively, he's going to knock down the three. It's really that simple, guys. 
Jackson against Beal. Now Jackson. Seven points in the game. Ibaka outside. Four on the clock. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. Jackson's got five assists in the game. How about the timing? Could be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Nice delivery. Now here's Caldwell Pope. 14 points for him. And there's the pass to Gaffer. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Look at the space he had on that one, though. There's an obvious speed mismatch between the two. Jackson passes to Ibaka. Back to Jackson. Outside, George. Misses the three. And it's Kuzma with the ball for the Wizards. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start, two for two. And we talk about Kuzma's mobility at his position. They're using it well to burn the deep. Babaka looking for an opening. And the call will be against Alex Len. That's his first foul. And the next one puts him in the bonus. Hachimura has checked in for the Wizards. And the Clippers making a change here as well. Marcus Morris has checked in for Serge Ibaka. Near the three-point line, it's Morris. And he gets it to go from the corner. And the Clippers lead by one. Well, you can tell that Mr. Morris doesn't lack for confidence. This guy is ready to shoot as soon as it touches his hands. And the dunk by Lynn. It has been nip and tuck through the first half. Exactly, guys. The way it seesawed back and forth, unbelievable. Now, here is George. He's got seven. Jackson with it. Now, Beal defending. Jackson kicks to George. And that one goes long. Wizards have gone 7 to 13 from the field since the start of the second. Beal finds Caldwell Pope, and Morris comes over to help. The wide open look here for Kuzma, and it's off from three point range. Outside, George. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. George has got nine. Well, just solid work in the painted area. Paul George, quality look, excellent decision. Hachimura, and there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. There's the foul against the Clippers. This is his third trip to the free throw line in the game. Solid work at the line a season ago. 83% on his opportunities. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Hachimura. And the Wizards making a change here. Bairton has checked in. So he makes both from the line. The Clippers have gone 8 of 15 since we began the second quarter. Excellent shooting. Jackson passes to George. From outside the arc. Washington with the rebound. Lens got seven rebounds in the game. Pass to Hachimura. Washington gets it back in a new 14. Well, just terrific instincts right there from Alex Len on the offensive glass. Really impressive. Jackson kicks to Kanaw. Let's a floater go. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Len. Both teams will make substitutions. Here's Rondo. 
and he wills that one in, sinking right through off the back iron. Boy, that's a bang-bang play on the inbounds pass. I like those quick hitters. Beal the pass to Hachimura. Stolen by Zubac. Johnson, a wide-open look. A three-pointer off the mark. The Wizards with the lead. Here's Hachimura. And the rejection by Zubac. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Wizards will retain possession. Washington making some changes. Abdiaz checked in for Hachimura. And Aaron Holiday is subbed in for Bradley Beal. And the Clippers with a change here, too. Mann's checked in. Puts it up. Off the inbound. Offensive rebound. Here's Len. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Well, with the length and athleticism, the intimidation becoming a factor. Len aggressive in the painted area draws the foul. This is his first free throw of the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw good from Len. See, the one thing you think about with Alex Len is he is a capable low post scorer. But in today's NBA, he's got to modernize his game. Can he add the three-point shot on a consistent basis? Big question. Both free throws good from Len. Here's Rondo. He has six. That's in, and that's his fourth basket of the night. He's taken seven shots, a solid 57%. And Rondo's handle has always been filthy. I mean, almost unguardable when he's pulling off moves like that. Now, here is Holiday. Bertans in the post, covered by Morris. Bertans' shot is good. Well, defensively, to me, you've got to do a better job communicating once the screen comes. And one of the premier floor spacers in this game now, Bertans, Greg presents a matchup nightmare. I mean, no one can challenge his shot. He's 6'10", has that high, quick release, and can hit it from 30 feet. Two years in a row now, he's been over 42% from range. And the scary part is he's starting to round out the rest of his game. Man gets the bucket. And Rondo is a dime dropper. One of the best passing point guards our game has ever seen. Holiday against Rondo. Now here is Holiday. Defense right on him. Here's Man. That's tipped. And he's able to get it back. Bertans in the post. Johnson's there. Bertans' shot is good. Well, easy money, right? I like the strategy. Go inside. Get a high percentage look. Bertans against Rondo. The Clippers again turning it over. On Trez Harrell, he's checked in for Len. DeMarcus Cousins is checked in for Los Angeles. shooting 45% in quarter number two. On the wing, Holiday. He's covered by Rondo. He gets that one. Oh, such a feel shot there, the floater. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Outside, Rondo. Let's it go from deep. Rebound by Harold. Outside Holiday passes to Harold. Good D by Johnson. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. It's the Wizards up by four.
It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Contavious, you... All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. A tremendous start for Contavious Caldwell Pope. He had 14 points and one rebound. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Wizards. Well, they've gotten to the line tonight a lot. Basically, they're saying, I'm going to take it to you. And the only way you can stop me is to foul me. But here's the thing. If you're afraid to sacrifice your body, you'll never pick up a lot. So great job in the first half. Shaq, what was your takeaway on the Clippers? Well, the guys coming off the bench gave them a big lift. Getting points off the bench like that. Look, on the fires, everybody's a fan, coaches, the other players. Love to see guys who might not get a chance every night contribute. And that's all we have for now. Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, goodbye, Kenny. Goodbye. Go to Kevin Harlan. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Contavious Caldwell Pope really making a difference here. He had a fast pass to the lane that first half. Got inside on demand. Now, this guy is such a good finisher on the move, and so far, the defense has not been able to counter it. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. Third quarter action getting rolling right now. Brought to you by Gatorade. All filled up and ready to go. Here's who's on the floor. Taking a look at the Wizards. Rui Hachimura out there with Kyle Kuzma. Then there's Bradley Beal. Then it's Contavious Caldwell Pope. And it's Holiday in at the point guard position. Kuzma finds Beal. Count it. Good. Beal's got his third basket of the night. Oh, that's a tough finish by Beal. Undaunted by the D. Outside, George. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. This is his second trip to the free throw line. And 88 from the line a season ago. He was one of the best shooters in the league. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. I don't know if it's underplayed, but there's an all-around aspect to what Paul George does on a night-by-night -night basis. This guy is an elite two-way player. And both free throws, good for Paul George. And here's Holiday, who will bring it up for Washington. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Here's Beal. Back to Holiday. Six to shoot. And Will Pope with a wide open look. Offline with his three. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. The Wizards with the lead. Stolen by Jackson. And here comes Jackson leading the fast break. Yes, and the foul. Bradley Beal picks one up. Not an easy basket for Jackson. He doesn't shoot a really high percentage, but he does make a lot of tough hoops. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Solid work at the line a season ago. 83% on his opportunities. Listen. 
And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. And Jackson certainly doesn't lack confidence. A speedy guard who can fill it up in no time. Pass to Hachimura. Here's Caldwell Pope. Here's Kuzma. Goes up again. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Batum. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. And read the plate perfectly. Gets himself in the air at the right moment. Terrific denial. Third quarter here. Over a minute and a half into it. Here's Caldwell Pope. And it's sent back by George. This is turning into a slow start here in the second half. Seems like they left that offense in the locker room. Jackson passes to Ibaka. And Ibaka slams it in. Well, a high percentage scorer with a great shot selection. Ibaka knows when to send it home. Wizards trail by three. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Beal against Kennard. Just five to shoot. Here's Caldwell Pope. And again, unable to change momentum here. Clippers leading by three. The three from George. Buries the long-range jumper. George has got five points now this quarter. And this is a shot Paul George makes consistently, right? When he's in rhythm, he's ready to fire off the bounce. Washington calls timeout. They're trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, this is why you hate to lose momentum. It can be hard to get it back. And it's never too early to start looking at our contenders for this year's dunk contest. There's no doubt it'll be a terrific showdown of some of the game's best athletes. And it seems like each year the bar keeps getting set higher. I mean, more props, crazier concepts to the competition, the level of dunks. I think this is going to be a good one. Well, you look at Hachimura. Some might say he's a long shot at this point, but you never know. Hey, stranger things have happened, and we'll just have to wait and see. And as always, we'll keep the updates coming in as we get closer to All-Star Weekend. One thing we already know, there are some great players pulling in votes so far. Yeah, and I think it's safe to say that this is going to be one of those dunk contests that everybody's going to be tuning into. Jackson up top. Finished off the break. And now it's an eight-point Clipper lead. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. The finishing transition, nice and easy. Beal finds Holiday. Back to Beal. Shot to stop the run. Rebound by the Clippers. No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. And I think you can start to feel their frustration mounting. With every missed bucket, it becomes more and more desperate. Ibaka dishes to George. Crystal blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. What's up? And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Daniel Gafford's checked in for the Wizards. One shot. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Time call here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. Paul George really making a difference here. You've got to take a timeout, take a breath, and come up with a plan for how to stop this guy.
and checking out some numbers for Bradley Beal. Last season, he played outstanding. Last season, put up about 30 points a game, six assists and four rebounds. And it's always nice to be able to bring a shooter like him off the bench. Well, hard to win if you can't get points productivity. And that's what makes this guy valuable to that second unit. Now, here's Caldwell Pope. 14 points for him. Peel drives in over Jackson to end the drought. Offensive rebound. They shoot again. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's early in Rui Hashimura's career, but this young man has proven capable on the interior. He will never shy away from contact. He's made all six of his tries at the line so far. And that one falls for Hachimura. And we've seen more attention given to how fans, Greg, interact with players during the games, whether it's verbal or, or even physical. Is that something the league's got to keep an eye on? Absolutely. It's all about making sure that everyone is protected and respected. You know, this is entertainment, right? This is not do or die from a life standpoint, and we don't want to have things escalate. There's got to be some kind of barrier there. I agree. And so it's Jackson who brings it up for Los Angeles. Just four points. That's all they've given up here in the second half. Ibaka with the ball. Now Beal defending. Jackson misses. Wizards trail by nine. Here's Caldwell Pope. They get it back. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. And while we've got this moment here, now let's take a look at last season's leaders in converting turnovers into points. The Wizards' fifth. And they turned all those mistakes into points at the other end. That aggressive style really yielding big dividends. That free throw missing. He hits the second from the line. Clippers leading by eight. George looking around. And Ibaka kicks to George. Down to five on the shot clock. Los Angeles needs to get off a shot here. It's good from long range. Batum's got the lead up to 11 now for Los Angeles. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Jackson against Kuzma. Beal gets a wide open look. And again, Washington no good. Well, after hitting one triple in the first half, it's been all radio silence since. Outside for Jackson. Abaka, wide open, he fires. That three off the mark. Washington's gotten off to a very slow start from three-point range in the second half. They're 0 for 4. Gafford passes to Beal. The pass to Kuzma. That one doesn't drop. So the Clippers will take it the other way. Jackson has the open look. Hachimura grabs the miss. Hachimura's got his seventh rebound here tonight. I'll tell you, it has not been this guy's best night, but the teammates have been there to pick up the slack. Love it. Oh, power flush with a long hang on the rim at the end of that. that could be, you know, that could be a catalyst for him. It really could. And Ibaka kicks to George. Back to Ibaka. Pass to Kennard. Batum wide open. He fights. No good from outside. Wizards trail by nine. Kuzma passes to Beal. Here's Gafford. Caldwell Pope outside. 
The Wizards working the ball around now. Kuzma can't get it to go. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. Well, this is what he does. Find ways to make his presence felt, and this time on the offensive glass. How about the hustle on display there? That kind of effort will earn respect from everyone. Caldwell Pope for three. Gets it to go from beyond the up. Caldwell Pope's got 17. Los Angeles calls timeout. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Well, this is a chess match. Looking ahead a few moves and trying to execute toward that. A platoon swap here for the Clippers. Right side, Rondo. Beal with the steal. Oh, and a fast break for the Wizards. A shot by Burjons. Nobody around. No good on the three. And Morris has got the ball here for the Los Angeles Clippers. But they get it back. Fades and shoots. Cousins dishes to Johnson. They get a hand on it. Wizards trail by eight. Passes it to Len. And the rejection by Cousins. Here's Johnson. Good. And it's Cousins picking up the assist. Six points for Johnson. Boy, that is absolutely gorgeous by DeMarcus Cousins. Run the offense through your big man, and he will find the open man. Ayrtonis, the pass to Len. Here's Beal. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Boy, that is a rugged finish from Beal. Absorbs the hit, guides it in. Nice. On the night, he's gone two for two at the strike. And going back to his performance at the line last year, guys, 84% as a free throw shooter. Free throw good, Beal. And here's Rondo. Eight points for him. Johnson outside. Pass to Zubats. Morris looking over the floor. Lets it go with a three. Rondo can't get it to go. Wizards trail by seven. And at last year's trade deadline, it surprised some people that Bertans was one of the hottest names out there. Right. Bertans goes from a guy who was getting limited minutes in San Antonio to playing around 30 per game for Washington. There were reports that suggested the Wizards were asking for at least one first-round pick and maybe a sweetener. Boy, does that show you the value of a sweet shooting big man. Throw good Beal and the Wizards making a change here. Holiday's checked in. And both free throws good for Beal. Los Angeles leading by five. Fires it up. Oh, yeah. The shot by Rondo is no good. The Wizard shooting struggles apparently. 37% from the field. Here's Len, and he finishes nicely on the layup. Len's got his third basket of the night right there. The broad shoulders of Alex Len carrying more of the load inside. Rondo against Holiday. Ball's not loose. Here's Beal. 
And it falls over the rim and in. And now just a one-point Clipper lead. Such a multi-talented threat on the offensive end, and you love his confidence. Here's Rondo. That's in for his fifth make of the night. Now shooting at a 50% clip, 5 for 10. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. Bertans kicks to Holiday. Zubats against Bertans. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Bertans got six points. Well, get it inside to a quality score and let this guy do his thing. Johnson surveying the floor. He's off on that one. And the Wizards with possession. Outside Holiday. Morris with the rebound. Johnson outside. The pass to Zubats. Let's it go. That one a little long. Washington trailer. Here's Beal. Sinks that one from the post. Beal's got 13 points here in the second half alone. We know this. Bradley Beal is an elite scorer who will take advantage of every opportunity. Johnson inside. Bertans defending. Plenty of daylight on that shot. He's got five. A great competitive game so far. And from the look of it, this one could go right down to the wire. Holiday, the pass to Beal. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Holiday's got five assists tonight. First three of the half, second of the game. Can he heat up? Now here's Johnson. Six points for him. There's 25 seconds left to play in the third. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Bertans finds Beal, and it's in there. And now it's a three-point Wizards lead. After taking some time to find his rhythm, he's been unstoppable since the break. Here's Rondo, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Alex Len picks one up. And Rondo really more creative than giving credit. Just has that knack for making defenders have to foul. And he's got his first free throw of the game. You know, this is not an area where they expect him to contribute. You know, he's a guy that shot below 70% last season. drops for Rondo and when engaged Rondo is special a, a triple double threat who does a little bit of everything for his squad and he makes the first but misses the second one second left off target with that shot Bradley Beal, he's been the guy making things happen for the Washington Wizards. What an amazing quarter. There was absolutely no stopping him. We'll return shortly. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game. And it's presented as always by State Farm. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. Well, we have some elite passing big men in the NBA, and you love that skill. Wow. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. Taking a look at Los Angeles. Ivica Zubac is out there with DeMarcus Cousins. That's Rajon Rondo. Then it's Marcus Morris, and it's man in at the two. Bucket is good. Beal's got 27. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Morris outside. Knocks it loose. Oh. 
Javier with it. And the rejection by Cousins. Back to Morris. For the three. Washington with the rebound. Harrell's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. With the floater. And the rejection by Cousins. Out left to the wing. Outside for Ronda. Taken away by Holiday. Here's Beal. And finished off by Beal. Well, the speed and athleticism of Bradley Beal on display, streaking out for the early offense. And the Clippers call time here. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Teron Lou as he talked with the team. He said, if we're going to pull this out, we have to do it as a team. We have to rely on one another, trust one another, and help one another. Let's go get this. Kevin, back to you. Stolen by Avi. <laughs> to the middle. Here's Harrell. And Harrell slams it in. This young guy is an absolute monster at the rim. So tough for opponents to match Harrell's level of physicality. Stolen by Avia. And here we go. Washington fast break. And Harrell slams it in. What I like here, even with the big lead, they continue to execute their offense. And that, to me, is a sign of excellent coaching. There's an attention to detail. There is valuing of every possession. Sure. Good for his sixth make in a dozen attempts, shooting 50% with that basket. What great body control from the all-star forward. Paul George, so skilled at keeping his composure under pressure. Pass to Berton. And it's sent back by George. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. He's looking for Cousins and finds him. Pass to Kennard. No good on the triple. Well, he had the defense's attention, dropping two threes in the first half, but he hasn't made one since. Berton's shot is good. And this is why coaches talk about playing with pace. The scoreboard tells it all. I think this is what we call, quote, running a team off the floor. They have been fantastic in transition. Pass to Cousins. And stolen by Harrell. And here we go again. Wizards in transition. Up the court they go. I'll tell you, his shot is just lost right now. There's just no consistency. Amazing that they're still up in this basketball game. Now, here's Zubac. Here's George. Avdia with the rebound. Here's Washington now. Big run right now going for him, 11-2. Beal finds Holiday. Here's Harrell. Second shot opportunity, and he sinks the layup. Harrell's got the lead up to 13 now for Washington. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Outside, George. Zubac trying to break loose. And it's George missing. And so it's Beal. He'll bring it up for the Washington Wizards. Holiday gets the bucket. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Outside, George shoots over Avdia. And again, no good by the Clippers. Washington leading now by 15. Beal, the pass to Harrell. And here's Holiday. Back to Harrell. Lock at six. Out to the right wing. From the arc. Avdia can't hit. Well, this has not been his finest hour. But give your teammates some credit for doing the job of stepping in. They get it back. Oh, how about the deft touch right there, guys? He just guided that ball back up and in. Just a fingertip touch on the ball. Washington calls timeout.
for the Wizards. Achimura comes in for Bertinus, and it's Contavious Caldwell-Pope in for Avdia. And then for the Clippers, Baca comes in for DeMarcus Cousins, and it's Batum in for Zubac. Holiday attacking. Harrell, the pass to Holiday. The pass to Hachimura. It's good, the assist that time from Holiday. Holiday's got his eighth assist in the game. Pass to Ibaka. Back to Jackson. He kicks it to George. Ibaka right side. Shoots over Hachimura. Passes it to Kinnar. No good with the triple. Wizards leading by 16. Caldwell Pope dishes to Beal. The Wizards need to get a shot off here. And it's sent back by George. And Caldwell Pope hits the basket. And with that three, his second of the half, he's equaled his total from before the break. Outside, George takes the three. Washington with the rebound. Caldwell Pope's got four rebounds in this game. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for Montrez Harrell. Kuzma passes to Beal. Wizards passing it around. A good look from Hachimura. Nice open look, but it's no good. Nabaka kicks to Batum. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And Batum brings length and a versatile game to his spot on the wing. And his defense, always a big asset for this team. He's the kind of player that everybody needs to have out there. Kind of a glue guy. Shooting two. That free throw good from Batum. Both free throws good for Nicholas Batum. Wizards leading by 17. Outside Beal. Stolen by Jackson. Pass to Kennard. It's good. And when the size advantage is as big as it was there, I mean, that's exactly what he's supposed to do in that situation. Outside Beal. To the inside, Hachimura, and the dunk by Hachimura. Wow, the ability to get off your feet in a hurry. Rui Hachimura with the dunk. George with the bounce pass. Now the pass to Ibaka. Now Kennard, he's covered by Beal. Kennard kicks to Ibaka. Pass to Kennard. Drains it from beyond the arc. His first triple of the second half. That makes three for the game. And so it's Beal. He'll bring it up for the Wizards. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. And the Wizards getting another bucket right there. Well, all night he has made an impact at the offensive end. Now he's trying to shut the door. Ibaka outside. Jackson against Holiday. Jackson kicks to Ibaka. Six to shoot. Here's Batum, and terrific work on the offensive glass, and he picks up two. Just a grinder, always doing the dirty work on the offensive glass, and that's one of the things he brings to the table. Here's Caldwell Pope, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That one on George. 
Yeah, KCP steady there at the line. Nice work to draw the contact. That free throw good from Caldwell Pope. And Caldwell Pope drops them both. Clippers trail by 16. Here's Jackson. Hachimura grabs the miss. Hachimura's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Drills it from outside. Caldwell Pope's got eight here in the quarter. That's his fifth triple of the night. Two in the first half, three in this one. Huge production. George finds Jackson. Here's Kennard. He's covered by Beal. Kennard, the pass to Ibaka. Makes it off the glass. Eight points for Serge Ibaka. And to me, it's never easy trying to guard Serge Ibaka. This guy is such a powerful player who is not afraid to mix it up. Holiday against Jackson. Beal from long range. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Boy, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. A shot by Batum. No good. Caldwell Pope feeling it out of it. Holiday against George. Holiday against the bucket. And the Wizards lead by 19. Oh, perfect timing there to knock down the teardrop. 157 left to play here in the fourth. Shots good by Ibaka. Paul George will force you to stay balanced defensively because if you have a miscue, he will find the open guy. Outside, Beal. Kicks it to Caldwell Pope. Back to Beal. Oh, and the dunk by Beal. Looking to close it out. That one might have been the back break. Well, at this point, they're so far it would take a real collapse to give this game away at this point. Now here's Jackson. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Game continues to evolve, Greg. Any changes in particular that you do not like? Mm, that's a, a great question. You know, I, I'd like to see the replay review uh, streamlined a little bit better. Uh, I, I wouldn't mind a touch more physicality uh, uh, being allowed in the game, but as much as we tend to complain, the one thing I have learned is if you're honest, you go back, we always complain. I don't care what the era is. <laughs> nobody's ever truly happy, and I'm not going to spend all my time worrying about that stuff, partner. I'm just going to enjoy the game that we are all so fortunate enough to be able to watch. Totally agree. And tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance. Impressive win for Washington. Look at their number of assists. You know, they didn't get stuck in those one-on-one -on -one situations, and they got the ball to the guys with the best matchups. Easy drives, open jumpers, and great ball movement. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And so they win their first game against this squad. It's a two-game season series, and they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off. And guys, one of the steady and outstanding players putting in another impressive performance. It was a big time outing for Beal. It was the kind of game for him that all scorers dream of, where the basket seemed as wide as a barrel. And so here are the Clippers following the bucket by the Wizards. Outside Jackson to the wing on the left. Knocks down the three ball. To me, when Patrick Patterson is hitting from deep, it makes everything easier for his teammates. He has got tremendous touch. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Back to Holiday. Here's Gafford. That shot off the mark. Here's Farrell, guarded by Holiday. 
shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. Well, you guys can see the speed of Yogi Ferrell puts the defense in a bind at times. This guy can be difficult to guard without fouling. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. Well, how about the former undrafted, small-framed point guard, Yoki Ferrell, carving his place in this league with quickness, confidence, and an ability to shoot the ball. What a great story. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Eight seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Outside Holiday. And so it's Washington easily grabbing this one. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the, the first step in becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity. And, and this is what they came out to do. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. All right, David, thank you. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you later.